Kharkov city. In 1654, between the rivers Kharkov and Lothen, Kharkov city was founded, it was a Sloboda, a fortress with approximately 2,000 settlers at first. Kharkov grew very fast due to the convenient location, the tax-free zone, a fat land and a good climate. Over time, it became one of the most economically and culturally developed cities in the Russian Empire with churches and monasteries, school and cultural educational organizations, factories, plants and also an agricultural industry. Also, Kharkov became a major junction that connected north and south, east and west during the 18th and 19th centuries. A lot of Russian people moved to Slobodskaya, Ukraine, and threatened Russian influence in the region. A very tight interweaving between the Russian and Ukrainian cultures are the main historically and cultural features of the territories that bear the name Slobodskaya. Kharkov is the center of Slobodskaya, Ukraine. Over the centuries, Kharkov has gained its power and became one of the most developed cities of Ukraine. Kharkov is a big industrial, educational, scientific and cultural center of our country. Engineering, instrumentation, radio electronics and aerospace industry are the base of the industrial potential of Kharkov. Kharkov is called a yacht city because of its large number of students who are studying in Kharkov educational institutions, academies and universities, approximately 33,000 of students per year. Kharkov is a city with a rich cultural traditions. There are six classical theaters and a lot of modern new studios such as Madrigal, 19 and Flowers. Kharkovians can be proud of the big accounts of concert halls and different types of museums. In addition, and there are zoological and botanical gardens, circus and a dolphinarium where the city residents like to spend time and relax. Also, Kharkov is a spot city with many possibilities and places to enjoy an active lifestyle. Gorky Park is one to mention. Everybody can find an attraction for himself. Either it will be a quiet walk along one of the many parkways or a dynamic sport activity. Kharkov is multicultural and diverse, silent and loud, festive and the city suited for one, you can enjoy holy color festivals, spicy food and Middle Eastern restaurants with your friends or spend quiet time reading an interesting book. On the river bank of the Lopen River, if you are a religious person, there are an Orthodox, Catholic and Protestant churches for you, as well as mosques and synagogues. The main features of Kharkov consist on its hospitality, acceptance and variety of traditions. Kharkov University The main event that played a huge role in the development of Kharkov city in its region was the establishment of Kharkov University. It was founded on November 1804 on initiative of the local community with Vasily Karazin in its head. Vasily Karazin devoted his life to Kharkov University. He sponsored, fundraised, bought equipment and recruited the first professors. That is why Kharkov University bears the name of Vasily National Karazin. A landmark even took place in the history of Karazin University. On that day, 215 years ago, the outstanding Vasily Karazin with the support of the nobility and city administration received the affirmative charter from Emperor Alexander. At that time, Karazin University was entitled the Kharkiv Imperial University and laid the foundation for the development of the entire region and Kharkov as powerful industrial academic cultural center. Kharkov University is asso associated with the names of Ford Greenwood scholars, researchers, and educators. Among them are Petro Hulakartremovsky, Alexander Lyupanov, Mikola Kostmarov, Mikola Barbashov, Mikola Beketov, Dimitro Bahai, and many others. Kharkov University is the only university in Ukraine where the three Nobel Prize laureates studied and worked. They are bi biologists. Ilya Mishnikov, economist Semen Kuznets, and physicist Lev Landov. Among the university merited doctors is the first president of the Ukraine, Mikhailo Hrushevsky. The university is associated with the publication of the first national newspaper and magazines, the creation of the first scientific societies, 